Well, welcome back to uh, Millamere RLFC, the oldest rugby league club in the country. We'll go for world, I think, because we started playing the game before the Antipodeans in the Southern Hemisphere. So I'm going to give you the teams as uh, given to us by the coaches earlier. And I'll start off the company we're playing again in the dark blue and white hoops. And we're going to receive the ball when it eventually turns up as the first game. And at full back, it's Russ Bolton on the wings. Jonathan Walsh and Emerson Allen. In the centres, Luke Penrice and Bobby Wright. Halfbacks, Adam Jackson and Connor Saunders at seven. And in the props, number eight, Liam Saunders. And number 10, Carl McBain. And Hooker is playing at Marwood. Second rowers, Peter Rimmer, Liam McNicholas. And loose forward, Callum Kinraid. On the bench, Johnny Hudson, Josh Bannon, Jason Graham. And uh, for Lancashire, it's uh, Ryan Hilliard at fullback, wingers. Deacon Monks and Nathan Taylor in the centres, Dean Meadows and Connor Parkinson. And the half backs number six, Matt Whitehead and seven, Adam Holland. In the forwards, props, Jimmy Canalton and Johnny Ray. And the hooker is Matthew Mead. In second rowers, Gavin Roden and Liam Wally. And the loose forward is Zach Baker. And on the bench, Hayden James, Josh Donoghue, Ryan Braddock, and Aaron Smith. And uh, Cumberland have just started with the opening set. Uh, yeah, and you know, they'll be looking for minimal errors, good territory and getting away from it, and good position from Lancashire fullback there. He's in right position, kick's gone over his head, but he's in right position. So, if you're interested to see this game, I think if you look at, especially the, the Cumbrian side, there's not one representative from Kells, everyone or Rothborough. Well, I know, I know the reason for that, and we'll, we'll not go into the politics because no, uh, I don't mean it as such as yeah. that, but it just shows the strength and depth Cumbria have got if yeah. they're not using them people from them clubs. So, for example, you know, and they went to Yorkshire last week and was very unlucky, so it just shows the strength they've got in depth and how far they've been like, in the yeah. last couple of years. Yeah, they did, and uh, I, I may. I mean, it could be a slight fear, but it's on the maxim that they played the Bar Lions three weeks ago. Then they went into that game last week, Battle Hard, and they were a tad unlucky. Uh, talked to a couple of Cumbrians who said that they should have got a trial late on, but it wasn't given. So they go into this Battle Hard in the last game, and for Lancashire, it's the opening game uh, of the campaign for them. See, you know, not knowing much about both teams, I know quite a little bit about the Lancashire kids because I've coached some of them in the past, but. I think it's got to be similar to the first game. I think Lancashire will look to play. I think Cumbria will look to make least errors and go yeah. forward and, and, and play Joel's in the middle. So I think it'll be very similar to the opening game, to be honest, and how, how the teams play. And it's a little jink and run forward there from uh, Adam Holland, but he's uh, stopped in his uh, tracks on the 30 metre line, and it's a drive forward it's for a great Jimmy carry Norton. Meaden with acting half back. <laughs> Young Bob Matthew Meaden. We've got shape here. There's numbers. Oh, oh great defence again from Cumbria there on that edge. Well, if Dean Meadows could have found his wing as it was in, but uh, they, they, I think it's like that opening game. They've showed the intent of the opening set as the uh, 19 counterparts did. Yeah, definitely. Like I said before, Stephen, I think what you'll get from Cumbria is some real, real go forward and some physical battles in that middle and look to exploit any errors from Lancashire. And I think from Lancashire, they'll look to maybe play on the edges early doors and, and not go down their middle channels where they'll find it difficult. So here we go then. It's a scrum feed, head and feed to Cumbria on their own 10 metre line and they get it. And it's there important that they start off well and start off this set and show Lancashire what's, what they can do and what Lancashire can expect for another 77 minutes. Bogle's right, another drive forward and it's uh, they spin him but he can't offload it. Bogle's left with the drive forward but uh, Dean Monks is involved in that tackle with a uh, Three of his teammates, uh, the ball comes loose. In there. I think he did have an hand in, to be honest, and it's something they don't want to do. You don't want to give Cumbria some, some yardage they don't deserve, and I think, unfortunately, now they're going to get 20, 30 metres, what they didn't need to give away, Lancashire, though. Yes, Ross. Yes, Ross. That's, that's, well, that's a great effort, that from uh, Ryan Hilliard to uh, leap up for it and uh, 
bat it back into touch, but it just didn't come off for him. And uh, Cumbria, they're going to get the scroll. I think um, he was well in touch there, though. He was well over the line. Uh, You've got a good set of legs. I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, he's, no, he's, the, the line's right in front of us. He was nearly hitting the wall, the, the full back. But yeah, you know what? The ref's not seen it. We, we get on with it. It's still Cumbria's ball, yeah. so we'll see what develops from here. They're in a great position. Uh, going to get this scrum on their own on the Lancashire 20 metre line, and it's fed by Jackson. He gets it out to uh, Saunders. Saunders, uh, ball's come loose again. Really scruffy that. And uh, from a Cumbria point of view, I think it's. Uh, They'll be really frustrated at that. Well, because look at Rodden. You know, he's gone for a steal and it's not quite worked and ball's gone forward. But, you know, it's, put a, it's made them realise, you know, we're going for all kinds of things and you better stick hold of the ball. So, unlucky there by Rodden for Lancashire. So, we're going to have another scrum. Same position, centre field, 20 metre line. Ball goes left to... Oh, go. what a hit by... Welcome. And he's lost that ball well, as number well, four. Welcome to... Bobby uh, Wright. Welcome to A&E, mate. That's the kind of ball you want to do when you're going and in it's, A&E. It's his opposite number, Connor Parkinson. Well, if he said it's Friday anyway, it's Friday, but, well, there you go. <laughs> killer ball, that, mate. That's a killer ball. Well, that's I it. Don't think, I, think, um, I don't think Ford will appreciate that from his half, but... We go on about hits of the day, don't we? Well, that is certainly the hit of the day yeah, so certainly. far. I think we'll have a few more of them, Steve, to be honest. <laughs> I think he's just taken that ball in at uh, driven it forward. Ball goes left. Gavin Roden driving it forward. Just short of the Lancashire 30 metre line. Ball goes right. Oh, another. Well, that was that Baker, and it, we uh, got one off Matt Bain there. I think the referee's made his intentions known from the first five minutes here. I think there's been two offsides, one either side, so he's, he's making sure they get back on side. So if he's consistent with it, I think eventually they'll they'll both clean up um, being on side and, and getting back. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a game of big hits this. Uh, and it's Lancashire there, going to where to play it. Matthew Meaden waiting to take that ball and get his side moving. And here we go again. There's two on. Two on. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> what referee plays on now, and it's a drive forward by Lancashire, looking dangerous after that opening tackle and kick downfield for the penalty. Oh, oh kiss of death! There. I've done it. <laughs> there's an error there. <laughs> yeah. Again, early in the tackle count, uh, Alan. I think, you know, as, as being a coach and, and thingy, and I think if you set your players' targets, maybe just say, look, this first five, let's complete, let's get some go forward, let's see what they're about. You yeah. know, but it's important you complete. If you complete, the other team have to do it, and if they don't, you'll have, you'll have, the, you'll have the edge. So whoever does that first, I think, will, will, will get in front. So it's important to for, for see which coach decides, you know, we've got to get some consistency and get some um, completions high. And it's... Um Liam Saunders, who's uh, taken that hit in the tackle from uh, Zach Baker, who's uh, already put a, one good hit in himself. So, uh, you know, nothing's happening at the moment. And, uh, the uh, physio's on giving him that magic thing called water that seems to revive him, even on <laughs> even on cold, free. No, it's not freezing. It's, it's in fact, the toes haven't started freezing yet, Alan. I don't know oh, about yours, mate. These Cumbrian men, they're um, they're renowned for being tough and um, well hard. Yes, hard men. So I've, I've no doubt to, he'll get up the guy, and he has done and play it. That's See, another the error there. Good tackle, that. Another, another yeah. error there. That's, yeah, that's four or five sets now, Steve. I don't think we've got past three tackles either side. So it's going to be really important which team gets on board and, and does it correctly. But from a Lancashire point of view now, they've, I mean, I know they had the penalty down there and they lost it early in the tackle count, but they're in a good position here again from the scrum, aren't they? Yeah, and they've got to make it count. And you know what? You don't have to, because cause you're over halfway line, you don't have to think we have to score. You don't. You, you just have to complete and make the other opposition work and hopefully get an error from the opposition. That's a great a carry. Great, great, great carry. from uh, Meadows. And he stopped, what, t some 10 metres away to tackle one. It's time it's a drive four from Whitehead. And he's stopped about... I think they're going to go on a short side myself. I think they might play on a short they've got side. got numbers on the right, though. I'm, no, I'm learning gone. off you, Alan. They're going right, and he's joined the line. It's a beautiful... Oh, oh it was a beautiful cut-out pass 
from Iliard to uh, Taylor and Taylor couldn't take it. I thought the easier option ball was uh, to Connor Parkinson, but, uh, you know, they put the cut out and uh, perhaps a, a bombing of a crucial try. Like you said, Steve, I think they've got shape. <laughs> they have got shape the first, in the first game. Lancashire had a lot of good shape and I think the seniors have got it and, you know, the execution, and we speak again, they've, they've got to be clinical on the finishing. So, cut the let off for Cumbria. Uh, ball fed by Adam Jackson, and uh, they've got to get upfield and try and complete the first set as Russ Bolton joined the line there. And it's down that line again, but they cut inside, and it's pushed back in his tracks uh, by the Lancashire forwards. That time it was Gavin Roden again, who's uh, put himself about in this game to date <laughs> with his drives and his inventiveness trying to get the offloads. Another drive from the forwards, and it's number 12, Liam Wally, involved in that tackle with uh, Adam Holland. Very impressed with the Lancashire line speed. They're giving Cumbria no opportunity for getting any momentum going forward. They're flying off the line, putting them under immense pressure. Well, it's raining again. We had a word with the umbrella man, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Uh, <laughs> he's gone further to the wall, so that's not too bad now, Steve. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's uh, Lancashire have got that ball as uh, it's uh, coming down a little bit now, this rain, but uh, it's all right. Uh, cameraman's got uh, broad shoulders and he's undercover, and that's what matters. As uh, Lancashire, number 10, Johnny Ray drives it forward, two in the tackle. On the, on the Cumbria 40 meter line, little scoop, show and go from Meaden, takes the tackle. Adam Holland at acting half back, puts a drop off ball there, and it's a little drive from Zach Baker. For Lancashire, ball goes back to the to play. Oh, nice little kick, chip nice over kick. to the corner. It's well taken by that uh, winger on that far side in this uh, rain. Yeah, he's done well though. It's coming down quite heavy now, Steve. And it, as you can see, people cannot even look up because the rain's driving hard. So it's really important now that Lancashire or Cumbria get some momentum and, and get some completions. That is a must in this game. Ah, they've got a penalty. Oh, a coach killer. Yep. All the hard work gets thrown out the window, I'm afraid. Situations like that. So, Cumbria with the ball, they've got to find touch first. That's a great kick. Oh, 20, 30 That's metres, that great one. kick, that, in this, in this weather. Man down Lancashire here. I think it's the back row, is it? What? Is it Wall Waller, Liam Waller? Well, he put that big hit in, didn't he, um, a short time ago, so whether he's feeling the effects of that or not, I don't know. But he's got up. The old magic it's water. The Cumbians who were tough, Steve. Yeah, they well are, these Lancastrians. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just hoping I've got the, Cumb the Lancashire accident, not the Yorkshire one. Yeah, you're all right, mate. You keep doing what you're doing. You're all right, though. I know. And it's Cumbria then driving forward, but there's three in the tackles. Zach Baker's involved. Adam Holland's involved. And the... Uh, Eventually put him down, uh, Cumbria wanting a penalty, coming down the short side and it's uh, Carl Matt Bain drives it forward. Marwood, he had a cracking game, at, oh that was a, it's another back-to-back -back penalty. Is that a bit harsh where he slid into it or am I being Maybe so, over? but I think it's contact with the head what he's given though, um, you know he's round the neck so unfortunately he, he's given it away there but they need to be careful here because that's penalty penalty and we know what he's a yeah. after two back to back ones so well it was very good it was very impressive here against Yorkshire last week and it's a dry forward thing I think that's uh, Carl Matt Bain for back Steve I can't see a thing there again oh uh, I don't know well, uh, I'll not do sexism eh? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> great read by Rodden there shooting out the line got the right man coming down the short side now and he's Cuts inside slightly, does uh, Adam Jackson, it's three, put him down, Zach Baker involved in the tackle, uh, he's put another good one in there with his uh, hooker Matthew Meaden, ball goes right to uh, Matt Bay, and Marwood, I beg your pardon, uh, he drops it off there and it's centre field, 15 away, Marwood gets it out to Saunders, puts an nice angled grubber in, it goes in goal but it's picked up by uh, yeah, the Lancaster defence and... Uh, 
And in fact, I think uh, last week they, they scored a kick from a little angle grubber in that game, that game in, uh, in Yorkshire uh, that, was streamed li- that was streamed live on the Ever League app, as this one is. And it's a spin and drive by Ken Orton. Trying to milk a penalty there, but referee says, get up. I think if he looks to his right, there's quite a few Cumbrians struggling to get back online now, so I think they need to be careful here because there's quite a few them creeping. So they switch play and it's a punt downfield and it goes over the full back. Oh, fancied head. that. I know. It just bouts kindly for the right stays there for uh, Ross Bolton, but uh, cracking kick downfield on the last. So Cumbria. Crab style, make a few more metres, but uh, a tackle goes in this time. I think it's Jimmy Canorton again putting himself about as uh, Big Cumbria forward drives forward to in the tackle. That was a penalty, and uh, the tackle itself, it was that man, uh, that man Connor Parkinson again getting involved. Now, this is interesting for Sea Lanks, he's brought on Aaron Smith. Um, Aaron's um I've coached Aaron in the past, and as you can see, number 17 for Langs. He's a big bloke. He's probably the biggest bloke on the field. So it'll be interesting to see how, how Langs you play this now. I think they'll look, they'll, look, they'll look to him and when they have got the ball for it gets some real big metres made so they can play on back of it. Right. Two balls again. <laughs> it's a good ball, but it was lateral, wasn't it? Yeah, great tip. But that Parkinson's there again. His defensive uh, qualities are up to the fore, aren't they? Smith, who I spoke about before, he's just dominated a he's man. A he's a big lad, isn't he? He is a big boy. He's, he's probably the biggest on field, and, and, he, and he can trap for a big fella. Saunders, Saunders gets it out to Ross Bolton, who steps inside and drives forward. And it's Marwood at acting half back. The ball goes left to Saunders. Crossfield bomb coming off here. How good's the defence? He bounces once. And it's collected by uh, it's a repeat set. Nathan Taylor. Repeat and set for Cumbria. Well, are they slowly turning the screw? We spoke about controlling games, Stephen. I think Cumbria now have realised, you know what, we're going to control it, and at the moment they are doing so. It's really important. I'm just thinking perhaps at one stage they were looking in awe, thinking, you know, that Lancashire are a little bit different to what they're expecting. But like I said, they're slowly coming into it, aren't they? Yeah, and, you know, it's important that whoever's playing in a game, no matter what differences you have in ability, you control how you want to play it. Well, he's, he's on form, Mr Dunlop, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Feel like telling for a good down there, out of the way, Al. <laughs> this guy, I don't know who he is, the, the um, gingerhead kid for Cumbria. He's been real good. He's, 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 oh, he's the number eight, that's yeah. uh, Liam Saunders. Oh, he's, he's played well, he's, he's offering himself a lot, he's, he's tipping on his two play. He's a good kid, he's going forward, he's leading them well. Oh, oh we'll pass. It's a shame that they're just getting that little bit of momentum, weren't they? And that'll benefit Langshire. They get a breather now and they get the ball back. So it's nil-nil. Glancing at the clock. Uh, we can only go as it's gone. We don't stop it for um, any stopping of the clock. There's just over 17 minutes gone. And it's a typical parlour three counties championship game. No quarter given and no quarter taken. And uh, still waiting for the opening points. And it's that man Parkinson, he drives and spins, but he's wrapped up uh, by three Cumbrians. And it's uh, Taylor helping his forwards out. Interesting to see Smith now with a carry. Like I said before, he, he takes, oh, great. He met, met by three or four Cumbrian guys then off the line. Great defensively on the big fella. Well, I thought, where's Callum can, can read? It was like a slightly different version, but when Andy Gregory used to jump up at these forwards for Wigan or Witness or Warrington. Oh, good ball. Yeah, he's going himself. He's no support. He's going on that far side. Oh, a beautiful offload to Parkinson from Wally. Great cover tackle by 12 Cumbria. Great and it was uh, Liam Matt Nicholas who saved him there. Crossfield bomb. They've got the numbers. If it bounces kindly for it. Oh, it bounces off his chest. Then he kicks it forward. But it, is the referee going to deem it was a knock on? Give a knock on, yeah, definitely give a knock on. I thought he'd come off his chest to be honest. But, um, I think he's given a knock on. 
But uh, it was brilliant. I mean, you've got to give him credit where due the kick. I think it was uh, number seven, Adam Holland. He had the vision, he saw it, so put it in straight. He did anger bow, he was straight across, and if it had got it, it's a try, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Uh, maybe if the winger just takes his time on the approach, he gets a better chance of, of catching it, but, you know, he's probably just overrun it, but great vision by the yeah. seven. So another he's here again, the for Cumbria, he's, 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 Yeah, he's been real good in. Ah, real Liam good. Saunders. <laughs> and it's that man, uh, Marwood again. Uh, he is just... he a relative of um, Dean? He played at Barry. I, I believe he is. I believe he is, yes. He's his son, to be honest. He's got, a, he's got a look of him anyway, I know that, so... But uh, he, he just didn't know. He only knew one way last week against, uh, against Yorkshire, uh, Alan. No, I'll let you do this next one because yeah, I can't no see. It's no problem. They're going for a kick early, Stephen. The seven gets rid there, straight down the fullback's throat. Really, not, not made him work on that. So Bolt picks it up, shows, but he goes and the he drives from the lad. Made a good what 20 metres there uh, on that first tackle. Parkinson steps off his right, Mason Angle puts one hand off in. He gets past that, but uh, he gets taken by. Uh, two Cumbria defenders including uh, Luke Penrice and it's your man Smith it. again yeah look at that he takes some stopping I'll let you play this next one out some stopping they're looking at playing again they've gone on the left side with the middle they're carrying down them channels for take some energy out of Cumbria and I think they will look to approach on the left or right side and, and get on an edge of some because they've, they've fatigued them down them channels yeah that was Johnny Ray going down that short side but they're cutting inside again now and a change of direction to Smith Smith a bullocking bulldozing run down the middle makes a good 10 last tackle the numbers are, the 15 numbers, away they've got numbers on the right I think but they're going to go left <laughs> nice Cut out. pass oh good hit Oh, he's stretched out. It's a great try, that. He's got it down, definitely. Well, last tackle, what a great try. He he bounced off a couple of players. He literally did his sort, but it's Matt Whitehead Matt who Whitehead. scores a try. Opening points of the game, 4-0 with you the do, kick to come. You knew Matt is, don't you? You know Sean Whitehead, who played at Saddleworth? Oh, is That's it? his son, yeah. yeah. Well, he's had a good teacher, hasn't he? Yes, he certainly has, mate. He certainly has. Well, they trial anyway, so you can still play. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a uh, game on and don't think there's going to be many points behind this so it's uh, crucial if they can try and uh, had the access to that try. We've uh, been playing some 21 minutes when the, that score was opened, and uh, kick to the left of the H's, and uh, these could be crucial in this game. He lines it up, looks at the posts. It's it. No, he's missed it. And he's missed it. So it's 4-0 uh, uh, in this Barla Three Counties Championship. Game two, Cumbria against Lancashire. It's been streamed live on the O-League app. And I hope you're enjoying it. With commentary from myself, Steve Manning, and co-commentator, and the man and oracle of all knowledge, Alan Coleman. <laughs> I wish. No, I'm just speaking about Matt there then and obviously his dad Sean was a fantastic player for Saddleworth over the years but um, I think what you see off Matt is he, he's got a fantastic kicking game but also what he goes at the right time and he showed then he went at the right time and, and took the line on. So it's a brilliant looks, bump up yeah, but he's, it, got, he's got a long arm though hasn't he? It looks like um, an all-rounder to me so you know I know he's very highly thought of in the Oldham area up there so be interesting to see how he, how he goes the rest of the game. That's a it's a good restart and it's uh, collected by Adam Holland and he puts it to one of his forwards and uh, he makes a good 15 metres, Alan. Yeah, good carry from his line there off the big fellow in the middle. Um, it's important. The I think what's important for Lancashire is the back line, both centres and both wings have had quite a bit of involvement so they're offering, they're offering that help for the big boys in the middle so they're showing the workload where I think Cumbria are relying on the middle boys too much and not yeah. getting enough help. John Array then, he's just made his uh, second drive on this set and it's uh, that man Smith again who uh, 
you could say partially influential in the drive down that created that try a couple of tackles later takes a tackle he gets up very very slowly and it's uh, Whitehead, Whitehead again. to kick again and that's another good kick, kick from Whitehead it's a 40-20 it's a 40-20 it's definitely a 40-20 40-20 what's the referee say? yeah it's a 40-20 he's give it He's given, has he? Well, I'm a great believer as 40-20 should be rewarded and hopefully it will, even though I'm sat on the fence as uh, the Lancashire, I think it's winger Dean Monk, Deacon Monks, uh, loses his footing. And it's that man Smith again driving forward, second tackle. There's about four, he's wrapped up by about four players. I think you've two uh, players on the right side, two Terry's, players. Terry's Umbrellas uh, gone from Potts to Razz. Is he trying to this right side? Parkinson. Parkinson oh. passes it, goes himself. He drives yeah, and he's in. Oh, no, no, he's no. not. He's lost the ball. He's lost the ball, Steve. Well, it's uh, that man Marwood, but well, you've got to say it's Lancashire bonbon there uh, at think, the end of the day. I, I think that if you watch how Lancashire playing, they get into a region of the park and then they're playing from it, so they're playing on their edges all the time for it get it to them. But uh, Smith certainly made an imp. What? We do apologise. Um, we've just been told they've altered, they've, they've altered the team sheet. So number three is Connor Partington, and number four is Dean Meadows for Lancashire. So we'll adjust that, and then we'll we, we know them. So Dean Meadows does the tackle, and I think he's got a bit of a knock from it. Cumbria look to go down the short channel. I think Marwood goes on back of it. Oh, bit of a nice little kick through there to catch him. Oh, he's lost fumbled. And Lancashire under pressure on their own line. They need to regroup and get away from him, I think. And I was just going to say, we have changed them, but these were the teams that were given to me by the coaches. Yes, uh, <laughs> them coaches are murder for changing things, and I believe that's number five and that's number two. Right, well, I'll change that now while there's a break in play and leave you with a mic. OK, mate. So they, 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 they give us the team sheet and they decided to put the left centre on the right and the right on the left. Is that when I come in with that stupid line, the right hand up, or what the left hand's doing? Correct, uh. <laughs> So we know now we're corrected and we do apologise if um, there's any family out there. Steve? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you to get out to yardage here now. So I know they've made another change. Is that that Brian Braddock's on from St. Pat's. Is that that pesky Lancashire court there? We'll shut him up. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> They've took big right and Pig Smith off. He's done his ten minutes, like I told you. Well, they've made He's two made changes. He's been hasn't he? Yeah, and they've made two changes. They bought Braddock on, and they brought. Um, Josh Donahue on, so they'll look to keep plunging holes in that middle of the park against Cumbria. Oh, uh, Parkinson fumbles there. it when he's putting space really there by the fullback. With great hands for Millard, Parkinson just couldn't keep hold of it. So we've got a slight break. It's going to be a scrum head and feed to what, Lancashire, and it's bang on the halfway line. It's 4 0 to the visitors. Uh, this is Cumbria's final game in the uh, three game series of the Barla Three Counties Championship. They'll be looking for a win to continue that momentum despite two defeats over the last two games. There's a break, and it's Marwood. And do you know what? He's done real well, though. And if he, you know, obviously Gavin Rodden's done really well. But Young Marwood's only a small, a small, small player. And if you get somebody a bit bigger there with a bit more pace, and they've gone, I think they get the points though. But don't know who puts a tackle in. He's only just come on. Marwood gives it to that man Saunders, uh, Liam Saunders. Marwood again. Angle scoop puts a good ball onto That's his right. There's a chance line. on here for Cumbria, but. Uh, they're sliding defence. They look up here and they've got numbers. There's trouble for Lancashire. Going down this left hand side and it's uh, Vanham to Graham, Jason Graham. And I'm sure he scored it last week as well. Last tackle. Be, oh, oh, that was an gone. awful That's play. That's just a lazy ball. play of the ball. You know, you, you get good you get good work from everybody and you you get up and it's just that extra second, Steve, to play it. And for me, that's just a bit lazy, personally. You're not going to get many chances at this standard, are you? When you, you know, no. county against county. But, uh, but the, da the danger men appearing for uh, Cumbria do appear yeah. to be Marwood and Saunders in the uh, forwards. Yeah, definitely. And also, the number 12's running some real nice lines. That's Nicholas. Liam Nicholas, yeah. Yeah, he's running a couple of good nice lines, so, you know, them's the threat. Um, there again, Deacon Monk's coming out of yardage, one of the wingers for him. 
it's just giving that extra play for middles get realigned and readjusted for go again. So it's really, really important to do the work the back line. Yeah. So two tackles gone. Like you up to their own 30 metre line coming out of defence. Ball goes right and it's uh, Donoghue again putting himself about, putting the hard work in. And uh, Meaden goes himself, ball goes Picking left again to Whitehead. Cricochets off uh, number 15, Josh Bannum, and the ball comes loose and the it's been to a oh, oh, play there. Well, I think Gavin thought he would game on there, uh, Al. I don't know who's Gibby here, because surely to God, uh, that's a strange decision for me. I, I feel as though the Cumbrian's charged it down, he's gone to back it back, Rodden's caught it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know where the offence is there, to be honest, unless he thinks Rodden's touched it forward, but mm. he's the guy in the middle, he makes the decisions. Well, all you want is quick, concise decisions as well. Yes, it? yeah. No, yeah. no, he was hesitant in. with his whistle then, Steve. He was waiting for to see what yeah. come of it, but. So, cover in the drive, and it's in spin there, and they're inside the Lancashire half, just short of the Lancashire 30 metre line. Marwood, the ball goes left to Graham. Graham drives forward. They're going forward in, the in meterage now, Steve. Yeah. They're getting good yards on each carry cumber, so Lancashire need to be aware of that. The line speed ball has dropped. Goes off. left to. Jackson, that was a cracking hit on Rimmer, the and it was a high on. one, and the, the linesman on, on and he's in agony. He needs to be careful here, Meadows, because the man's not had the ball at all, and he, he's took him out. So it'd be interesting to see what the referee's thoughts are on this. I don't think it's intentional. He's just misread it. And then he's been relaxed yeah, when he's yeah, put the hit yeah, in, yeah, isn't it? Which makes it look makes it look and yeah. it's worse than original. As a defender, it? as a coach, you want your defender to defend, and if he thinks he's getting ball, he's got to defend him. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you've got to give the players discipline. Days gone by, they'd have all rushed in, wouldn't they? Oh, yeah. Uh, I think that's the beauty of the game now. It, it has changed, you know. I think people realise the game is tougher. It's very tough, and, and you don't need that anymore because the game's tough already. There's just no need for it. And I think when it comes to selection for inter international squads, whether it be, you know, the Battle Lions who've flown off to Fiji this morning or the England community lights, Apart from their ability, they look at their uh, discipline, don't they? Yeah, well, like he says, <coughs> it's added the youth, and it's a big thing for us, because wherever we go on tour, we yeah. want people to represent our country and be good people, so it, it is a real important yeah. part of it. So, Cumbria have got a penalty, as we've been talking about, in discipline, and it's in a great position for Cumbria. Uh, they what, what, 15 away, approx, and they drive forward. Oh, and he thought he was going to drop that one then. Um, Connor Saunders wearing the protective headgear, but he sorts in his tracks and keeps hold of it. Marwood puts that ball left and side to uh, uh, Liam Saunders, who's what, somewhat eight metres away. Go down the right hand side, but he goes himself, does Marwood, he backs really himself. really impressive for him, Steve. He, you know, he's, he's going left, he's jumping right, he's making them work on him. and Down this left hand side now, can they pull this pressure into. That's oh, a beautiful great, ball to Bolton! Oh, Bolton! He's in, Bolton! Brilliant try. Oh, just when we thought that he'd uh, been wrapped up by a winger, uh, Deacon Morris, quick play of the ball, and fair play, it's a, it's a try, and it's a. Uh, it's the full four back, I, think. I think it's the full, full back, back Russell, Bolt. Russell, Bolt. Russell Bolton. Yeah, I think he come onto the ball real well though, and the ball from it, from the back row or half back, was fantastic. So it's 4-4, uh, four, four. he's not made that kick easy for uh, Connor Saunders, uh, looks in a similar position to the one that uh, Lancashire like got. Said, yeah, I, didn't, um, I think what's really important, Steve, is, is um, like we said before in the first game, goal kicks could be really important, yeah. you know, that it's, it's massive, so he needs to take his time, get himself composed and hopefully if he, if he takes his time he might get his rewards. They've responded well to that try though, haven't they, you know, I mean Lancashire were in that little bit of ascendancy and then this few penalties and like you said, they've been making the more impressive, yeah, Lancashire more should have quicker perhaps with the backs moving it, but the goal forward of the forwards is that little bit more on top at the moment than uh, Lancashire's. Yeah, we call it a roll on. You call it a roll on, and I think they've had that roll on, and that's what's given Marwood a lot of opportunities for jump left, jump right. Yeah. And, and he's and they're finding him. He's difficult. controlling the rook, yeah. isn't he? Just by the speed and the yardage they're making from the middle, man. Yeah. Uh, as I just glance at the clock, there's 33 gone. You've not missed it. Just lining this up, Saunders. 
He hits it well. Hits it's it. going between the edges. It's 6 4 for Cumbria. <laughs> <laughs> Kick off, so it's Cumbria six, Lancashire four. Probably between six and ten minutes left, Steve. Yeah, we're going off what we're glancing at. Uh, like I say, oh, it's as true as we can get it. Obviously, Terry who's doing the filming. We can't be doing stop start because I think that would end up stop starting the stream. And the last thing we want to do is uh, do that and uh, spoil spoil what you're seeing on the our league app. As uh, Cumbria six four ahead, can they? Uh, They've just gone the 30 set. yard in two tackles. Um, good stop there from Lancashire, but like, like we spoke just before, Steve, they've just got that fire in the bellies at the moment yeah. going forward. It's Marwood again. He's probing, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's been real busy. He's Last been tackle. real busy. Ball goes left. That was a good, the nice little clever kick, kick that. that you know. Clever kick that. He's, he's, his body position's been opposite way and he's, he's kicked it on an angle to the other way. So, be interesting to see how uh, long you go forward here now. But it was uh, number two, uh, Nathan Taylor. That's uh, Connor Parkinson takes a carry. He's, he's partner there on that left channel. That's a good drive forward. I think that's Donoghue again, uh, putting himself about. So Lancashire. I just think the control it up more. If you notice, you know, Lancashire's taking the time getting up to play the ball. Every time Cumbria get a play the ball, it's quick and it's good and nine's gone. Where they're set and they're ready for defence straight away. So Lancashire they can quicken the play the balls up, they'll have a better chance. But I think what Whitehead's trying to do is trying to control it at his pace and for his forward space. But like you said, they've got that little bit of bit, bit of quickness and go forward about them. Uh, from yeah, a Lancashire definitely. point of view, if you're gonna start defending your set though they're defending at the, the, the right end aren't they yeah certainly <laughs> so Cumbria then driving it forward after tackle one and uh, Meadows is involved in the tackle again put himself about the whole game that's a bit scrappy uh, Cumbria trying to milk a penalty referee's not having it and it's a drive it and spin by Peter Rimmer he's still going and he's they're not well, putting him down are they well, I think anyway. we call it rugby union for Luke, face, if, if, you Luke, face, Luke, if, you Luke, if 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 he's not mauling about with him though he's on his front again though and yeah. he's playing it quicker oh half a break there from uh, Bannum just short of the uh, 30 metre line for uh, was going Cumbria Marwood. A good ball there out to Saunders. Saunders puts an angle cover in. Oh, there's the chick. It's, in. it's a superb it. try, try for number two, Jonathan Walsh. And a superb kick. Angle grubber from Saunders. And it's 10 4 with the kick to go. What a beautiful try. Yeah, it comes on back of quick play the balls yet again, and they've got all the joy from that. So it's really important, Langston. Need, they've got to slow it down. They've got to slow that middle down. <laughs> So what a cracking try. He's not made the... Uh, 
conversion easy for the kicker. It's out on that touchline. Number two was it, Steve? Yeah. Number two, Jonathan yeah, Jonathan Wash. Wash. But well, it was a quick speed, but it was that yeah. kick from seven connoisseurs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. superb. Is he it's kick it? I think the wind's going to be again him here. Yeah? It nice. goes across the post, so it's uh, ten points to four. As I glance at our uh, running clock, we're just short of 39 minutes. So. Uh, if there's any time to score a try, it's just before half time. But it's how, so Lancashire reacting this whatever's left, and at the beginning of the second half now, isn't it? For me, if you sum this first half up at minute, I, I just think Lancashire that first 10-15 minutes come out all guns blazing, dominated, bash, bash, played the ball, and now Cumbridge just took it and said, you know what, we're going to start quitting it up now. And I think they've really quickened the play of the balls up. And we've spoke about Marwood. He's having a field day out there playing on the back of them rocks. But I think also, you know, when we, you mentioned Aaron Smith, biggest lad there, he came on for, he did his 10 minutes stint. And since he's gone off, whatever momentum Lancashire was slightly getting then, it's gone, hasn't it, at the moment? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think they need to just control like that set there now. He's controlled that rock. They've got no speed on it whatsoever. Same with this one. They've got to control this one, be yeah. in control of it. And he's, he's come out again, see. But he's playing the ball before our men are up half the time. Marwood again gets that ball and it goes left. Another drive forward. I think that's uh, Josh Bannum up to the halfway line. Marwood again. <laughs> nice little ball, but he didn't do... Uh, <laughs> he didn't do Andy Jackson any favours, did he? I don't think you, I don't think thank you for that we've one. Already, we've already had one at hospital. We just hope everything's OK with uh, Penrice. Yeah, hopefully. And Saunders... Uh, Good spiral in bomb that bounces once, it goes into the. We're in the uh, 40th minute now, Steve. So depending on stoppages, um, and the, do you know what? Third place to him, he's gone over 10 seconds there. You know, fantastic from the referee. Yeah, that's, that's well played, that Teddy. We're uh, well up with play. So the score. At half time in this. Uh, <laughs> by all the three counties, open a championship game two. It's uh, Cumbria 10, Lancashire 4. Lancashire uh, got off to it well as uh, it's been described the game itself and I think about 20 odd minutes uh, third or third about's gone when uh, Whitehead went in for a, a score got the ball it was after a white drive and then he got the ball on that left draw went forward quick hands but he's got a hell of a set of long arms and he stuck it out and put it down for a try then uh, had a couple of penalties as such. Uh, Lancashire's discipline let him down a little bit. And uh, it was uh, full by Russ Bolton who uh, joined in with the move and went in and made it four apiece. Uh, Connor Saunders uh, added the extras, making it 6 4. And then a couple of minutes before half time, with uh, Cumbria quick, quick play of the balls, getting that a bit of ascendancy. It was uh, Connor Saunders who got that part, but a sublime angled grubber in. And uh, it was, a, it was a chase for the winger, Jonathan Walsh, and he finished it in sublime style. They couldn't have the extras, but it was it was 10-4. So closing words from yourself before we go into a break. Yeah, I just think, um, it's, it's like I say, it's a game of two... Well, the first half, two, two sides to it. I thought Lancashire started really, really well, come out, did everything right, put the Cumbria under pressure, made good yardage, and then for some reason... They switch off or Cumbria said, you know what, we can get these. And they went straight down that middle, crash, bang, wall up, quick play, quick play. Young young Marwood jumping about. And like, like you said, the, the quick thinking of the halfback there for that try, I, th I thought was very special. And the winger, it took some finishing, yeah. you know, and, and we've got to give credit. As much as you get good opportunities, you, you've got to be clinical how you're finishing. I thought he finished it really well. And I think um, the half-time score is probably justified. So, John is back on the Everleague app. Uh, we've got to put the uh, credits on, the advertisements on. We'll be back very, very shortly for the second half to see if Lancashire can come back in game two to equal parity or even get a win. See you and listen to you later. Well, that's second half underway now, and that's a testing kick. Oh, and they could receive the ball back here. Oh, and they've gone for it. Ah, it's just travelled dead, so it's a 25 metre tap out. 
Yeah, we had a, just in case you've gone blueing up and you've uh, switched on or you were waiting, thinking you could have a good chat. Uh, we've just had five minutes uh, break because of um, the an accident that happened in the first game and also taking into account the rain. because Sorry, not the rain, the light. There are, there are no um, floodlights here at Millum. It's got everything by that because it's a fantastic complex and uh, the rain's not going to help to uh, light, help, help the light and uh, it could be interesting if we might end up asking Terry who's done what in a bit later on because uh, that's what happened uh, at York yesterday oh and he's oh, dropped the, the ball, ball. <laughs> is that Smith? Uh, that it's a power Smith. play but I think he'll go back to the first yeah um, yes yeah, Adam Smith's come back on point. hasn't he? Yeah, Smith's back on. Um, I don't know who's gone off. Um, I think he's changed both his middles, to be honest. Right. He's gone back with 8 and 10 who started, and he's brought Aaron Smith on. But it was, um, I know when you used to the opening game of the uh, commentary, that was an inventive uh, move by Yorkshire to try and score early doors, wasn't it? Yeah, certainly was, certainly was, mate, yeah. Um, anyway, it's, it's, in, it's interesting to see how, um, how Lancashire changed the, the speed of the play of the balls. That's the, the key point. What if, if I'd have been coaching now, I'd be saying because still there now, he's up, he's up before our men are up and the, the Lancashire men are up. And it's, if you look, look how quick they're forcing themselves up off that floor, and it's, it's really working for Cumbria. My word to Saunders. Saunders gets it out to his standoff going down that line. The winger joins in, and ooh, ooh, that looked a no, little bit high, give, but uh, give a shoulder contact. But it's stopped the momentum. It certainly has. It, and I think if he doesn't do that, they, they maybe get another point, though. So, Cumbria. Inside the 20 metre line. Saunders gets it out. Going down this right hand That's side. A great and line from three. The centre. Luke Penrice. Last tackle. Falls left to Saunders. Oh, he puts another grubber in it. Bounced off a Lancashire foot. They've been unlucky there because I think... He's just knocked on there, has he? No, I think what they've done is Lancashire's touched it and then Cumbria's touched it again and then got the ball back. So they've been really lucky there, Lancashire, I think. We'll not be critical because he's nearer to us, but... No, uh, no, you correct. Know, you you, you want to get everything right, but... Uh, but Cumbria have just got to get on with it, haven't they? Certainly have. And it's Smith. The Reds are up, you see. The Reds are up, so it's important for Lancashire that, you know, they get out of these areas. They don't want to be in these areas, so it's important they somehow um, look to get out of there. Especially, I'd be looking at um, Mike's. Um, oh, he's pulling oh, for forward. Oh, third Especially tackle. the kicking game Mike Whitehead's got. You've got to, you've, we've, they've got to use that, and I think it's really important they, they use it and get out of danger. Well, he, like we said earlier, he controlled that opening 15, 20 minutes, didn't he? Yeah, he did. And, and it was from his boot, more than anything. He, he, he decided where he wanted them to be and where he wanted Lancashire to be. And I think that's really important in this half. So they've got a scrum. It's, um, I'm looking at the angle, it's about 20 metres out. Cumbria are in a great attacking position here. Jackson, Jackson gets it out to uh, Bobby Wright. Bobby Wright cuts inside. There's three in the tackle. Mar would have half back. He glances to his right. And it goes right. It's a crash ball to one of the... I think it's number 10, that, to uh, Carl Matt Bain. Marwood gets it out to Bannon. Bannon gets it out to Connor Saunders. Saunders puts the full back in. He gets it out to his centre who juggles. He loses the ball to us, uh, Luke you know, Penrice. Um, that pass it, from Bolton. Cumbria have really changed how they're playing because they went down middle, middle, middle. This half, they've thrown the ball all over the park. Yeah. Well, uh, you get the feeling if he, if he could have took that, he'd have had his winger, they could have been in again, but uh, Lancashire now, they've just got to come upfield, trying to milk a penalty, and it's another drive forward. And the flag wave is on again. Uh, I'm not sure what he's seen there, but he's... Uh, no, me neither. But uh, I'd imagine Cumbria will be open. It's for them, if from Lancashire. They'll not want to give this away. Um... I'll give a penalty away with having the momentum or uh, momentum as such that they've got the ball in possession. Um, I've not seen anything here, Steve, so it'll be interesting to see what the uh, the assistant's seen. Yeah. Um, and what the referee decision the referee gives. I think he's going to give it in Lancashire's favour, it looks. Yeah, he's give it to Lancashire. Well, I'm sure is he getting is that pushing off the ball then? I think so. Oh right, okay. Yeah, it's what's happened on the previous tackle. I'll tell you what, he's got some good eyes as our cameraman. It's another good kick from Whitehead. 
That's what links you need to use is Mike's, Mike's kicking game. He's, he's certainly got one of them. Well, I'm thinking, I, I might be wrong, this is probably the first time they've been in an attacking force in the uh, final 30 of uh, Cumbria. For, cer for certainly have, for, especially for the last 25 minutes of the first half, they've not had any good ball territory, and they've certainly got some now, so let's let's see if they exploit Cumbria. So Cunorton drives it forward, wants a quick play of the ball, and it's an uh, angle scoop, ball goes down that right-hand side, it's uh, Whitehead, Whitehead finds his half yeah, he's in. Oh, Deacon and Monks, they're in! Deacon Monks. Does he give it? Yeah, he's, he's give it, he's give it. So it's Deacon Monks. Deacon Monks. Number two, Deacon Monks, and uh, they were made to pay the penalty with Cumbria as uh, Lancashire, that ball, went down that right-hand side. The half-backs combined, carried the move on down that right-hand side, and Deacon Monks kick, uh, scores that try, which makes it 10-8 with the kick to go. I, I think if you look at Mike Whitehead there, he squares up, and then he gives a good ball to Adam Holland, who goes through the line initially, brings the winger in and offloads, so I think both half-backs, their combination was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a great try, but uh, the try score has not made it easy for the kicker, but he hits it. It's a cracking kick, no, but it goes it. to the left of the H's, so it's 10-8, two points in it, and it's a similar scoreline to the game in York last week, where that went to the home side by two points, 18 points to 16. Referee stopped play there for some reason, I don't know why. Um, I don't think he's happy with he was ready, quite ready, so it's it we go again. I think if he keeps doing this, we'll be playing in dark stuff. I think there's Cumbrian players say, come on ref, keep up, we've got no floodlights here. I'll be turning it lucky off shortly. Yeah, in fact, I'm waiting for see how Teddy gets all his tackles there and when it's dark here with no lights. The big thing, the light, so it's important. Great defence though. Thanks, you need um, a, a good set from here. And, and, oh, oh dear! Oh, as you say, the curse of the common kid. <laughs> <laughs> and it's uh, number eight. It was uh, Jimmy Canorton who's uh, made some uh, great headway during uh, the game to date, but uh, he'd dropped that inside his own 30 metres, and they'll be bored by that because. You know yeah, better than I do. You've got to play. you've yeah. got to finish your set first set yeah. after you score, haven't you? It's really important that from that set where you have done something good and got great rewards from it, you, you concentrate on the set after because all that good work goes out the window. Then you, yeah. you're under real pressure yet again. So can Cumbria make them? And they've, yeah, made, they've he, made an error. And well, it's, uh, to exploit again. It's Luke Penrice. He blew a possible try earlier on, and now they've lost this ball on the opening tackle, and uh, he's. Smith driving it forward for the Red Rose. Another well, drive forward from Aidan James. Makes a few more metres. There's three in the tackle for Cumbria, including that man Marwood. Gavin Rodden's going here. And he bounces Gavin's off him and he's looking here. for a run and he's got through he's the got second one. Push he's got number three left. All right. The sticks here. And I think that's Ryan Illiard, is it? Yeah, it certainly is. I think Gav Rodden's massive in that. Gets it from his own, from behind the rock, goes sideways, breaks the line. And he's got good pace, Gavin. He, an international kid himself. And, and, and no doubt being international this year as well for the open age section, I think. Well, they bombed a try and they've hit back. And now Lancashire are in the lead with the kick to go. <laughs> So it's uh, 
10 12 as the rain starts to come down so we're waiting for mr dunlop to come and join us with his uh, partner and he's taking his time it's uh could be a big kick this uh, especially if it comes down he hits it well yeah he's kicked. the flags go up and i think that's whitehead who's converted that one and yeah turns around, give us a clue yeah whitehead yeah, converts whitehead. and it's uh 14 10. Interesting for see now how Cumbria come back from this. Um, they've had a, a spell of ten minutes where they've had no ball on, or if they had a ball they've not completed and lost it on one and two. So it's really important now how they come back from this. <laughs> Deacon Monks takes a real big carry there, makes 10, 15 metres for Lancashire. They'll look to, to, to definitely complete this set after the last set. Good carry from Dean Meadows. That's another 10 or 15 metres. Lancashire's tails are up here, um, Steve, and they're, going, they're getting really, really big metres on the carries. And it's that big number eight who uh, made a bit of a four par a few minutes ago, Canorton, but he's uh, driving forward and they're in this uh, Cumbria half again. And it's a little angled run forward there by Adam Holland and up to the 30 metre line. And uh, Smith ducked down as a... Uh, Whitehead puts that ball out there to Gavin Rodden, who's had an outstanding game, created that game. He gets through the first, a beautiful back to his Rodden. winger. And the winger comes inside, Great number two, Jonathan Rodden Taylor. Again. Well, he's it was the, worth the money, that, was it, coming in? He's, he's, he's the danger man for Lancashire. That's tackle, Whitehead, very, very good. chip to the in goal, and it's superbly chipped by Cumbria. But he stops What's in his tracks. Oh, he's give a drop flick. He's give a drop flick. He must have run dead, I think. Right. he's caught it. I think he's gone dead. Well, I always have a little expression of scoring tries in clusters. And the 19s did that in the opening game. And that's a classic example of uh, the openers doing the same. A couple of tries in two minutes. And with this rain, it's an, it's an ideal time to take the lead, so to speak. And it's... Uh, it's a good carry from Deacon Monks again. He's made some meterage as he for Lancashire and then carries. Especially yardage. He's offered himself a lot in yardage. Oh, good hit. Real good hit then from Cumbria's 10. Well, it's certainly coming down now. It's getting darker as well, Steve. And it's Canaan again. He's about eight metres away. Trying to milk a penalty. Ball goes right. Holland, Holland. That look forward. Yeah, but he's give it, is it? No, he's give forward. The, yeah, the he looked forward. The assistance there. Was it Hilliard who took it? Yes, it was um, It was a great play and yeah. a, a great run up back line from Dean Meadows, the right centre. and He's hit it. So hopefully, Steve, if everyone moves, we'll have a good view. But if not, there's one umbrella left. Yeah, but it's 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 a low umbrella. Uh, Mr Dunlop must have heard us because he's gone further down unless he's lent it somebody else. 53 minutes And if gone. you watch this after on the Hour League app, Mr Dunlop, you know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a scrum head and feed and Saunders feeds it. There's a Cumbria player in your back play, but... Uh, Referee, he's uh, playing on. I think he's playing on as much as anything because of, uh, you know, the uh, the fading lights as it's uh, I think it's, forward. I think it's going to be a big ask for Cumbria to get out of this yard, especially in this weather. Yeah. If they do, for credit to them. But, you know, they've made some good yards at minute and it's, it's getting harder and harder for them. Marwood gets that ball out. It's a drive it and spin and tries handing off the forward to a shot at the 40-metre line. It was number 10, Carl McBain. I think the big difference is, Steve, um, they've quickened that. Um, Cumbria's tried quickening it up, but Lang's just slowed them rooks down yeah. and, and altered everything they were good about. I think they switched on a little bit of the influence that uh, Marwood has had as, as a hooker, hasn't it? You yes, know, definitely, definitely. You know, they switched on. Whatever's been said at half-time, they've taken it on board. Yeah, and you know what? A nine can't play if you can't get any quick rooks, no, and it's no. really important, and I think Lang's um the coach Mick Blakely's probably spotted that and said, you know, we we got to control it, and I think they have done. And, yeah. and the difference is they're winning now. Yeah. So a little angle drive forward by Lancashire. There's three Cumbrians in the D uh, in the defence, and we're on the halfway line. 14 points to 10 to the visitors. Another angled run on that far side by uh, Zach Baker. Is it? Oh, he's taken that well. Positioned himself well there, the fullback. Yeah, you know, he's, he's he's really read the read the players real well though, and, and got found some good position. 
put the stuff in there. Body language is a big thing in rugby, and you can see the, the Cumbrian guys are struggling to get back now, and the, the body language shows who's having this, who's having that. Yeah. First staff, they was fighting over. Everybody's for willing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, the Lancashire players are shouting no penalties. They realise if they can keep him down there. Oh, and it's a little bit oh, of handbags here. Oh, it's a bit of handbags again. That big number, that big nasty number 10 from Lancashire, putting himself <laughs> about Johnny Ray. But they get up after having had pleasantries and game plays on, and it's gone dead. Um, handbags, as we say, Steve, handbags. Yeah. But this is where we've got it, isn't it, Ali? Well, Cumbria have got to get down there. They've got to be the next scorers, haven't they? Yeah, certainly. I, I honestly think if, if Lancashire can cross the line again, I, I think body language will go worse. And I, I think they'll find it difficult because this weather doesn't help. No. At all. no. And I think and there's the not weather, that urgency either. No, that's wrong. I was just going to say that. I think with the weather, if Cumbria could get back to hit, drop, play, hit, drop, play, hit, drop, play, they would get some joy. Mm. Um, but they, they seem to have gone off it. But is, is it them or is it Lancashire who's, who's really doing well at controlling yeah. it? Now? But, uh, it's a good drive by Cumbria. And they, that's what they would. Well, they've, they've pushed them back that five metres. That's what they needed. Yeah, it lifts from momentum. Saunders involved in that tackle and now he's... Uh, Couple of other players come in play and referee shouting out. Paul goes right. Good drive. Good Gavin tackle. Rodden, I think he's been instrumental though. Lancashire's got back in this game. He's carried well, he's brought well, he's had some fantastic passes. Well, that's right, I mean, he made seen, the yeah. try, didn't he? The, to that, that try that we've just seen scored. He brought Meadham back on Eden, it now, and yeah. it, it, it'll look to go now. Good hit by Matt Bain, though. Oh, and there. Uh, well, not saying the hit had anything to do with it, but uh, well, it's like I say about that bit of momentum, isn't it? Just yeah. that bit of bit of oomph when you need it. Yeah, and the crowd's certainly getting behind them now, and you know they're lifting the spirits. They realise, you know, there's one try in this game. It's anybody's game, this, yeah. so it's important that you know both teams stay focused and see the job out. I mean, I've got to say, it's been a good turnout, really. I mean, the, the opening game are a good turnout, and there's probably more, you know, the crowds uh, developed as the games games have gone on. And uh, there's a lot of hardy souls like us, macho men here, stood outside in the pouring rain watching this game. Yeah, and I, I think, you know, if people don't realise it, this, the, the community and the grassroots rugby is fantastic. Yeah. It's really good, and it needs it needs that bit more support. You know, they need that support, and... and They'll always put a spectacle on for you, so I certainly have no doubts next week at Lee Miners when it means who wins things, yeah. that will be a, a spectacle to see. I mean, we got a great response on the Ever League app uh, last week uh, for people watching the live stream, and we, we thank you for that, and we hope we've increased the numbers uh, today after the fair that was shown last week, and... Uh, it's great that we can be in a position where we can show these games, Alan. Yeah, definitely. Just going back to the game then, uh, you know, the, the Carlton then and the Adam. Unfortunately, number 11 for Cumbria just couldn't hold on to the pass. If he holds on to the pass, he goes through the gap. Yeah, Peter definitely, Rimmer. Definitely goes through the gap and unfortunately he couldn't hold on. So it's a let off for Lancashire though. <laughs> well, there's going to be a hell of a, there's going to be a lot of tired bodies out there for either side, isn't there? Yeah. Um, you know, it's already a physical game. It's tough. He's played in great spirits. Oh, Owen, lost Owen it again lost now. the ball on Free the first play. tackle. Um, and it's Bounces wet now. It's one. constantly been raining now, Steve, for maybe 30 minutes. And the grass is wet. The ball's wet. So it, it, it's going to be difficult for both teams. It's who, it's who wants it that most, I think, for the last 15 minutes. So Matt, so Matt Payne drives it forward. Going down that short side. It's that Marwood again. He jinks across. He's uh, wrapped up this time. And that far side, and they lose the footing. It goes down right now, then it's a they have to admit, pass out there to Saunders. Saunders gets in it. I think that's the winger. It's an angle drive. Too hard, the kicks. Oh, no, it's not. I'll leave that one with you because I can't see nothing here. The lad does really well, though, for get out of his yard. Out of his dead ball line, he does really well. <laughs> Going down this uh, short side, and that's the best I can see. The, the umbrellas have won it for me, Al. Yeah, they de definitely have. That's Taylor, the winger, who helped with the carry there then. And 
Mr Dunlop's into her just for a change. Oh, it's a knock-on. It's a knock-on. Is it? I, I'm it's struggling. I, I, I know you, you people can see it on screen. I can't from here. Lancashire knocked on, did they? Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's a knock-on. Um, getting up to play the ball, he loses control of the ball, so... Yeah, with the weather coming down now, it's, it's difficult and, and, and vis visibility is coming difficult. So, you know, with the facilities they've got here, the pitch and everything, it's fantastic. Yeah. I mean, some floodlights would be amazing for this club. They had floodlights here. I mean, you, you, all right, I know we want to stand. We'll not be greedy, but, they need, <laughs> but, we, need, but you need, we need floodlights, you know, because throughout that spectacle, uh, because, you know, I don't know whether we managed to get the full 80 out of here and to be a tragedy with it, especially a game as close as this. Yes. But if they, could get some, if they could get the floodlights, I mean, it could, it could help to be the makings of the club for oh. games and also for, uh, you know, hiring out the facility. Yeah, you look at the, you look at the pitch, Steve. There may be one divot too. He's had two, eight, two 80 minutes of rugby, yeah. intense rugby, and it's a fantastic surface, you know. So ho hopefully, if, if they do get that facility, there'll stay some fantastic games here. Oh, and there's a chance. Oh, it's another and repeat it's a cracking grow of high corner Saunders again. It's another repeat set. Lanks is under the cosh here, mate. What I will say, and I'll be quiet, I think you, you'll agree with me, it makes Wembley look what Wembley shouldn't be if you get me drift yeah well there's no NFL on here is there uh, no I'm quite right no, honestly I can't get over how good this facility is it's, it's an absolute credit to the people here the ground staff they've done a fantastic job should be very very proud um, I mean when I, just going on Wembley I remember, Wembley looked as bad as it did when uh, Chelsea play Leeds in the 70s a cup final they had the also of the year show on then you're but going, this going, is super you're going before my time again Stevie there well thanks <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that, Terry? Yeah, remember that. Thanks a lot, mate. <laughs> oh, there's a spill. It's gone backwards, I think. Oh, no. Ah, nice. That's a, that's a grave achievement yeah. for Lancashire, though. They've got the ball back. It's something they needed. They needed it desperately, though. And they know they did, because the high fives that they're giving each yeah. other as well. As this, a, this weather's getting, it's very getting very difficult. worse, isn't yeah, it now? It's getting very difficult. So as I glance, is coming up to 63 minutes. As uh, look at the houses, as the backdrop to this game, they've got the lights on there, and it's hopefully they can. Uh, what they should do now, they should have them upstairs windows lights on. It might just help us, man. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Lancashire to get the ball from the scrum, and I don't think we're going to see any expansive rugby in this final 18 minutes. It's a case of play your sets and punch it downfield as they come driving forward and they've lost the ball again oh it's a they're coming a knock on a thon I'm, I'm afraid Steve at the moment it is a, a bit of a knock on a thon and well Liam Saunders uh, got involved then with that uh, drive stop in that drive and he put it down and uh, on the uh, Lancashire 40 metre line and uh, I'm not going to say it's going to be a lottery but uh, it'll just case of one mistake but from a Cumbria point of view, they've got to complete the sets, and it's uh, Johnny Hodgson. It all goes right, and it's that man Saunders again, who uh, was pointed out to by Alan as uh, an impressive-looking player, and it's down that left-hand side, and it's his uh, half -back partner, his, his prop partner, Matt Bain, makes an angle run down like They've got side. a bit of shape here, they're looking to play, and in these conditions, if they get the chance to play, they've done Saunders. really well. That's a great line from 12 again. Lancashire Matt a bit Nicholas. disjointed, a bit dishevelled here. They need to be careful. Now Wood's gone again. Oh, he's picked that up well. Oh, Ball lost his foot well. in there. He got a didn't scramble well, though. He scrambled really well, Lancashire, though. It's all from the kick now. Got Sleeve Bomb. It's great defence. Oh, it's a drop out, it's a repeat set, Steve. He took it well though, didn't he? Uh, he did, you yeah. know, he's taken. Yeah, and he's, he's positioned himself all game in right positions, the lad. You know, on yeah. attack he's been good, defensively he's been good, and if you're not in right position though, it's maybe a try for Cumbria. And if I'm being p p pickety now, uh, you know, bit of Super League tactics, let's throw the ball back 10 metres. Yeah. So, the four points no, in lights. <laughs> you are. Do the players know we've not got lights? Because well, he's hoping that referee's not going. His referee's not going to add time on, isn't he? So there goes the grub, but it's picked up by Cumbria, and it's 
another drive forward I think you know what considering this Graham. people can't see back home how, how much driving this reins in the face is and you know what alright we've got a, had a spell of losing Fashion. ball but you know what fair credit to these guys they're looking to play rugby in these conditions it's a, it's a credit to both teams to be honest since Saunders bounces off two and makes about five metres Marwood are acting out but ball goes right to Bannum Bannon drives it forward. You need to be careful here. Need to be careful. I think Don't lots in my way now, mate. He's asking questions. They're knocking on the door here. Marwood scooted. He's in. Marwood's in. Marwood's in. Marwood's in. It's 14 all with the kick to come. With about 15 left. If the light stays for us. He's been he's been the dangerous player today, Steve. So it's uh, Saunders slightly to the right of the post in any normal in normal weather we'd back him to kick that. You said that last time and he hit post. No, you did that, it's my turn. No, I said you would back him in normal conditions. But in this rain, hail and pestilence up here at uh, I don't know who's Miller, got the rain off, I don't know who's, who it's against. I think, if anything, it's against Yorkshire at the moment. He's coming down against them, I'd say. Yeah. He's he hits it. it! It's a goal! 16-14 with 14 left. <laughs> If anything for me, kicking here now it's got to be low and hard and get some get some water on that ball, make it difficult to stop. That's not a bad kick off. They must complete the set here, Cumbria. They cannot afford to give an hour away and give Lancashire possession in their half. Well, putting the Yorkshire head on, and it looks as if we could obviously all going to evolve next week at Lee Miners, a week, a week tomorrow. Yorkshire will be happy with this to some tune, won't they, Al? Well, if this game stays the same, anyone can win the Tri Series. Because Cumbria. Oh, he's given off oh, and they've lost the ball. Cumbria will be level. Lancashire will be minus two and Yorkshire will be plus two and with my simple maths and they are simple I think with my calculation Lancashire would have to win by five points correct and it's possible Steve you know yourself you know yeah. and, and what I think what people don't realize is if, if they're new to watching this a home advantage massive it's oh, massive yeah. in these series yeah um, you know if Lancashire can get an away win here to put him in a really good position for the for the home tight home and if Cumbria and when it, it, it sets the try series alight next week, doesn't it? And if Lancashire get, if they, I mean, if you get a, a penalty, they'll, they'll go for a goal, won't they? You know, when the ball moved with th 12 yeah. minutes left, they'd, they'd take a point, won't they? Yeah, but I, I think there's, I think there may be maybe a couple of more tries in this game. Yeah, I really, really do. Right. I think um, they're in a good position here, and if 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 you've got some good players on the park, you don't have to score, Steve. You just keep the. The yeah. momentum and, the, and the, the possession down here and make Cumbria come out. Oh, there's a drive here from uh, 13. It's, it's uh, nice to exactly. see some of the cars over there putting the lights on, which is Quite good. Right, so could you? I just want to raise them up. They will do a Batman, but we can't Might do that. Goes to the left, his left hand side. The there's a chance here as they drive forward. And it's rotten. Class he stopped and he looked to Whitehead here. They looked to Whitehead for a cross field by Mara Duck Grubber. I don't know. I think if he puts it along the ground, it's difficult it's to rubber. control. Oh, it, poor one. In, in the big scheme of things, that were a poor one. But he, the young lad there, he, well, full back Bolton, he, he, he put took, his body he took on line, didn't he? Bolton and he's done real well, though. He's took a knock. Now, this is where it's difficult for Cumbria. And this is where Langs, you have to get off the line, get in the faces. Yeah. He'll struggle to get out here now if they're not careful. Marwood. This kid's here again, he's been impressive, Steve. Saunders. He's been yeah. real impressive. Liam they Saunders. They must be brothers, surely to God. Well, you, you oh, guess. they've lost it again. Oh dear, and it's on the free play, and it's a chip far away, and uh, 
The Lancashire player pushed the Cumbria player down, so we'll go See, back I, to I don't, get, to I don't get why he's kicked it out though. Because if he dives on it, the player goes back 25 metres. Yeah. You know, they're under pressure right on the line. Yeah. So if anything, it's a silly play, even though you know you won't get rid, just dive on the ball. Mate, take the player back 20 metres. Well, I know as we've just been we've got just short of ten minutes left. Uh, the Lancashire players ran in for a quick scrum there. I'm hoping that the uh, referee had all the clock up. I'm hoping the referee, although we do want that if need be, he uses a bit of common sense and plays as uh, the, the, the weather, or should I say, not the weather, the weather's deteriorating, the light is. I think you've played out. You're looking at the clock the first half. He only went 10 seconds yeah. over. He'll not be much over this. So you're looking at nine, nine and a half. Down this now, left channel then. I think there's a try in this game. Then. Certainly is. I think Langston is oh, in a really good him. position here. They're in a good position. Oh, easy. Number three. Lancashire oh, think he scored. The referee yeah. says he's held up. And the Cumbrian crowd are happy. They're still in a good position, though. Oh, They're Deacon still in Monk a good thought, position. Deacon Monk thought he was in, and I thought he was, but he wasn't. You know, they're not off the hook here yet. They've got to work hard. Lancashire's another four tackles here. But they've Five not tackles, a, sorry. They've not got to panic and be frustrated having had that try taken off them. Meaden gets that ball out to Whitehead. Whitehead gets it out to Baker, who's uh, taking his uh, headgear off. It's coming down now, man. I'd have kept my headgear off, the but there you go. Ball goes right. Got him here. It's a chance got on him. Oh. Smith. Smith in it. Must have been right. Four or five stopped him there on the line, and it's... Uh, Brave play oh, by Cumbria, goes left, the back. goes right, then he offloads, changes oh. direction of ball, that piece of rubber Same and the momentum's the dangerous man for Lancashire, this kid, it's Gavin Rodden. Gavin Rodden, he made that last Lancashire try, and he's going again, but they stop him eight metres away. He's still play the ball, still it goes pressure, left, I think, and it's I think they've got him here. Numbers here. Oh, he didn't need and to kick. Grubber, and it's another drop I don't think he needed to kick, though, I don't think he needed he's to kick. He's got numbers, hasn't he? Yeah, I think if he plays, though, they get him. But that's another six they have to defend, Steve. So that's maybe 12, 18 tackles they've done on spin and they will they will fall off tackles, they will start getting tired. So maybe clever play from Young Whitehead, to be honest. Again, we had a bit of, I know I keep referring to game one, it was similar that where York kept attacking this line and they couldn't, you know, they huffed and puffed and they eventually got over. That's a great kick though. That's a great kick. He's got it yeah, over halfway. Yeah. But this will be a great return. He's returned well, this young man, all game, Monks. And, uh, Funks and he makes he makes 25 metres. Ball goes left and it's another drive forward. The wind's coming with the rain now and there's me saying as it were warm. I don't know. Oh, he's lost that. it. He's lost. Oh, he's they've lost. Oh, penalty. They've got to go for two. They must go for two. Well, we've got seven left and he's done him for a ball steal. Well, this is Whitehead's uh, territory, I think, isn't it, to uh, Alan? In torrential rain, it's I going just, in his face. I've got a feeling if he kicks this, Steve, he'll call it the game himself. But it's getting, getting quite dark now. It's, it's I mean, we've got to think about, you know, we want, really we want to go to 80, but we've got to play think welfare. about the player welfare and, you know, God forbid something happen. And the fingers would be pointed, wouldn't they? I mean, certainly, it's certainly. all in the referee's hands. I know Cumbria wouldn't be happy if it happened like that, but it is what it is. And uh, Whitehead and just taking his time. 73 17 on ours. He looks up. Any other. He hits it. Stur he's missed, he's he's missed, missed it. the kick! I well, I'll do. I'll do. I'll do my bit to Meldrew. I don't believe this it. This time, though, this time, yeah. Like you said, Steve, you seven minutes yet. Yeah. But you think, you think yeah. like it's your game. I'm it just shows that's the weather for me. You know, well, it's, it's the weather it's and, and the pressure. And nine times out of ten on a drive pitch, that goes in between the edges. End of. And oh, it's a cracking oh, drop out. And this could get even worse. Oh, he bravely well. went down well, for that though. ball. Who is that? Ten. He's done Number real 10, well. Ten. That was uh, Johnny Ray. Oh, he's done very well though. Well, there's a penalty here, I think. Yes, there yeah. is a penalty, and deserved as well. He's holding down far too long. They might not need that kick. If they can control themselves and set themselves up, they might get the winning try they need here. Well, oh, nice. yeah, Millen, hope you're enjoying this on the Our League app. It's streamed live. Game two, the into first the one was a cracker. Now, Steve. Into I think the last play five the game, minutes. To be honest, he's got to see it out now. Well, you hope, well, you hope he do the right thing. Uh, so it's a tap. Can Cumbria all the way? I think that's that Zach Baker great again. Tackle. He drives forward, then he's pushed back a couple of metres. They're looking to play on the left channel here. They're looking They've to got get, numbers. I think they see this is the weakness. Uh, um, Cumbria's right. Meaden's in. 
Meaden's wrapped up three tackle him he's a couple of metres away and uh, ball goes left he took that well, well. they've got him here and it's yeah, he's got numbers if he wants he's they cut inside but somehow it's he know it tackling Bannam involved three side, again got him I think seven's going to go here Holland he's going to have a go himself I think Rodden the danger man Angle Grover oh and Sanders does well there does well there the seven fantastic well, brave I'm does very brave there just behind us on our right hand side is Millen Football Club in two credit as a goalkeeper in that border talk about a try saving catch they're still under pressure though they're still under pressure here so Lancashire trying to eke a mistake and he's got, two I points can't see him getting out of there I can't see him getting out I think that's oh, a great carry a oh great beautiful offload, offload. And he cuts inside, he's got to stay in play, he can't afford to get rid of that ball. He's coming across Crabstar looking for space, he's jinking, he dunks the first one. Well what there, a superb man. run that was from Johnny Hodgson. He's, he's been immense, this kid today. The number it's, eight uh, for, yeah. for Cumbria. Liam Saunders. Oh, I don't think he's been off the field. I don't think no. he's been off the field, Stephen. It's all on the kick. That's a great charge down. It's back to one. It's, it's, oh, he's still it's last, he's saying last tackle. And he's lost the ball, and it's a kick and chase, it's, uh, oh, he's got some it's that Baker, got some that Baker trying to get all that he's got. Oh, See, man. why has he done that again, Steve? Power play, dives on it, the ball goes back to halfway. Yeah. He's, he's got a drop right now, just dive on it, and the ball goes wow. back 30 metres. Well, you, you, wanna, you, want, you want to back Todd when he put that last tackle in, and it ricocheted it going forwards, and <laughs> then it bounced back, it looks as if they got that limited momentum, but there's three and a half minutes left. It's 16-14 to Cumbria. If they win this, they're going to game three. Won one, lost one, level on points. Lancashire will go in it. Played one, lost one, minus two. And Yorkshire will go into it. Played one, won one, plus two. Meaning Lancashire will have to win. Lancashire will have to win by five to win and regain the title. This kid's played well as well. He's carried real well. I, I mean, I like last week, you didn't deserve to have a loser, but unfortunately, well, he's took a knock. you don't he's want to draw. Knock, yeah. And he's gone down, and referees stopped Stop his clock. clock as uh, we trickle down <laughs> to 77 20. And he, he has got, I mean, being serious, he, he did have to stop him yeah, with the way he went down, didn't he? But he he, he's, he's up again. End. Oh, he's lost the ball. Lancashire's lost the ball. Oh, and that could, I'm not sure who it was who lost it, but that could be the. And the reason I don't know is because it's dark. You need to be careful here. Good hit from Smith. Well, they've got to try and get that ball back now somehow, haven't they? There's, nah, still, there's still three minutes left, so I think, you know, Langshaw will get an opportunity. Oh. Why did he do that? Langshaw will get an opportunity with the and ball. And Saunders who dropped on that loose ball. What a crazy offload. He's Marwood. been good, this kid. He might be smallest on field, but he's sure biggest start, I think, today. <laughs> and he scored the crucial try as well, didn't he? What, what, well, what could be, prove to be the crucial match winning try? He's struggling to get out here now. So, Cumbria up to their own 30 metre line, and I think it's that man. No, it's no, not it's somebody a kick 11. To come, it's, Steve. Uh, kick to come. Kick to come. It's Peter Rimmer. They've got to make sure they don't ricochet. And he doesn't, this time, doesn't Saunders. On it's the a floor. cracking kick. Yeah, oh, when he took it. that well. And the attack's on. The from defence to attack. Went down that right oh. hand side, and. Uh, Cumbria just slide across in the atrocious conditions. It's a drive, hit and spin. I'm glancing. 78.40 on our clock. Another drive four. I think that's uh, Three uh, players here. Kenorton. Two left. Goes himself. Two players. Two players left. 20 metres away. 79th minute field. now, Steve. Well, I think it's do or die here for Lancashire. Turn up players. Baker. Oh, gone. Baker gives it a he's in. Baker! Oh, oh he's a mid, he's oh, away. Last, last tackle. tackle, quick play of the ball. He's, he's going for it. That's fantastic scrambling defence. Unbelievable. Fantastic. Unbelievable defence. Oh, it's going. He's kicking off as well. <laughs> that was unbelievable yeah. defence. You know, a fantastic play down the middle from Zach Baker. Looked for his full back. Thought couldn't he would find in. him, yeah. And he couldn't quite get there. The meeting goes to nine. Looks for the big carry to crash over. And unfortunately, you know, Cumbria, like they've done all day, Steve, to be fair, scrambled and scrambled and, and just held him up.
And they've just got to keep the comp. Minute. They've just got to keep the comp. I mean, look at that screen. What he's, what, what Charlie's got there. What our viewers are watching, and we're struggling here. Yeah. But uh, this this has got to be the last set. So we are it's in the jump a minute now, and it's really important. Lancashire Luke to retrieve the ball back if they can. Maybe a one-on-one -on -one carry or a big hit or anything they can. Um, Cumbria need to up your jumper. That's a good roll. That's a good drive. That the help and his forwards out. I think that's Penrise on that far side. So just a couple of metres. Three tackles to go and Lancashire might get another chance with the ball. That's our man again. Uh, yeah, I, I yeah, think it's been good. If it's they're been. winning, I think he's got a bit of man of the match. I mean, yeah, the forwards are the workhorses and they don't take a lot of glory. I think he's milking a... I don't know he's milking there, but... <laughs> he's, um, I think he might he's, get he's reserved for that or a he's reserved, to be honest. Yeah, but, but he's reserved the right to do that after being on for 80 all minutes. He's been knocked all day and, yeah. and not took a backward step and all of a sudden he's um, having a minute. But first place to the gentleman, he's deserved that. I think Lancashire will get another set. I think I think he'll carry over a couple of minutes just with stoppages. He it That's a fantastic kick, kick from Cumbria. Well, we that's talk. an unbelievable but kick. Yeah! And, and that's it. I was going to say we talk about game management in this game, and that was a cracking kick downfield. But Cumbria have won this game by 16 points to 14. County Championship up. It was 10 4 to the Cumbrians at half time. Uh, Lancashire pulled it back to 10 8 when uh, Declan Morris went over. Then they got another quick fire try when Ryan Illiard went over. They converted and we thought it was game on. But then Blaine went over under the H's and uh, Saunders added the X's, making it 16 14. And it went one way, the other way. We thought that you know, Lancashire were going to win it in the dying seconds after that Zach Baker break. It didn't work out for him. But this has been a fantastic game in fading light. And I thought uh, before this game started, I needed to get to spec savers. I don't need it now. I've got <laughs> extra vision after watching this. But it's been a fantastic game. And that last quarter played in atrocious conditions. And I know we've had slippery ball. But I thought the game of the handle has been very good. And you've got to give credit to the referee. The officials have been great in both games. I think they've been superb, mate, to be honest. You know, and, and they've been consistent in what they've done. Um, if they've given a penalty, they've given it. And they've given it all game for it. Yeah. And that's all we ask for in this game, if you're consistent. I think this game just shows, you know, Lancashire should be smart in there. But you know what? If anything, it gives them that incentive for next week. They, you know, if they can win with five points, yeah. Steve, they win, the, they, win the, they win the tri series. I think they'll be confident. I really do. I think next week Yorkshire will have something about them that come to Lancashire at 19 and up yeah. 20. So for me, after today's performance from everyone, officials, players, next week's going to be real, real enjoyable to watch, hopefully. Yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll not be here next year. Next week, next, next year. I will be here next year. Will, yeah. I'll not be here next week, uh, but I'll be watching it on YouTube in New York on, uh, on Monday. Uh, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Steve Manning and Alan, uh, thanks for... Uh, engaging it with us you've been fantastic with no your worries. knowledge of the game and you'll you'll be there commentating on them next week do you think yeah i've been asked to do so i don't know who i'm with but yeah we'll be doing it and um can't wait for next week let's hope everyone enjoys it so tune in next week if you can't get to lee Miners next sunday one o'clock three o'clock tune in to our league app for game three the deciders cheers oh,